Generic greetings and welcome to Survival Plus RimWorld episode 13. In the previous episode, I took a vote and asked, what would you like to do? Would you like to stay on our outpost failure pending or move on to a new alpha and a new challenge? Votes were cast, die were rolled and we are moving on. So we are saying goodbye to Seed World 0118999, and we will start a new colony. So, uh, I have to pick what sort of storyteller they, uh, they, I'm going to use on the game. So, we've got uh, Chili Charlie, which is really easy. We've got Cassandra Classic, got Tough Cassandra, Phoebe Friendly, Randy Random. I'm sticking with Cassandra Classic. The reason for that is that um, the Tough Cassandras are really, really harsh. And especially early on, I'm not very great at the early game. I'm not too bad late game, but early game, I just tend to get wiped out on that one. Um, I've only played, well, 12 episodes plus what I've played single player so maybe 12 or 13 hours so I'm, not, I'm certainly not an expert at the game uh, and certainly not enough to do any randy random stuff because that is very very random so Cassandra classic let's go next and we're going to pick our three colonists so I want um I want a settler of some kind um perfect there's a settler I also want a miner perfect there's a miner and I want some sort of um I want someone who's good with social and good with research, but not a noble because nobles tend to be a bit too structured in each one, um, and they tend to have really they've got good shooting melee and social, but nothing else. In fact, they can't do other stuff normally, um, or, or they won't law themselves to carry stuff because the nobles are annoying. Um, social thirteen and research six. That should be good. Although dyslexic and researching, so we might might slow us down just a little bit. <laughs> a mind reading dyslexic. Hmm, what else have we got? A split personality dyslexic and a no sense of humour leader. So that, that that's pretty cliche, that one. Um, a split personality person that's got dyslexia. That's going to be really... I mean, I can empathise with that anyway, but that's really, really dodgy. Anyway, let's start. So we have uh, Stein, uh, Contras, and Larser. And I can't, I really, why can't they just be called... Bob, Ted, and Phil. That would be much easier. Right, so here we are. We're landing on it, and we will pause it for a moment. We will mark all of them and allow them to pick it up. Mark all of them, allow them to pick up. That's metal and food, respectively. We're going to click on each one of these and check their shooting. That's three. That is three, and that is seven. So we're going to get you to equip the pistol. We'll unpause it and then go ahead and do that. So. Let's take a look at what we actually have. And we'll close that because it's shouting at us. Right, we have... Uh, I'm just checking for steam guys. And we've got one there. Got one there. And we've got one over there. So that one's pretty much out. I can't really risk building there. It's too far in the open. This one isn't too bad. That one isn't too bad. But I worry that it might be a little bit far away from this. Because I like to tunnel into the mountain. And do the dwarf thing. So I might come up here wall it off at the top and then basically put a big wall around this and this will be my colony the problem with that is that there's very little grass um so i need to grow stuff inside instead of the outside which shouldn't be a problem because if i do have a steam geyser straight away i will be able to do that so what i'm going to do I'm going to take a bit of a risk on this one, and I'm going to, once I've collected this stuff, move up to here and start placing walls all the way around and basically wall this section off and we'll have a big base inside here, and that steam geyser there. Like I said, that one is not bad, but it's too far in the corner and there's not really any place to go. I like the ability to have a nice open area. Uh, I like the, um, not the ability, rather, I like the um, option to uh, build outside with houses or to dig inside the mountain. And I like to do a bit of both. Anyway, we'll unpause it and I'll go and let them pick this stuff up. Um, in this alpha, because this is a different alpha, this is version 254, 245? I don't know. It's something B. I know there's a B on the end. Um, compiled 7th of November. So, uh, what I uh, well, what's what's new in this is the overview. You can now change it so you can have manual priorities, so you can put the numbers in, which is quite good. I do like that, although I must confess I have got used to that. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'd probably stick with that. Um, there's also... Is there anything about research? I don't think there is. Um, there's certain more... There's, there's more requirements for things. So, for example, uh, you do not want to put much stuff outside. So, nutrient paste dispenser, um, batteries, you don't want to put outside because it'll rain. And guess what? It'll break everything. Right, I have 197 metal, so enough to build that, but not really enough to effectively defend it so what I'm going to do is tell them to build that and then go to orders mine and tell them to mine out that quickly look at my overview 
see who's on mining actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that person to uh, warden just in case and that person to research same person actually uh, doctoring will put both people on because we can and mining we will turn off uh, the entrepreneur because they are rubbish at it and then we will just for the sake of getting stuff done quickly do that so turn these other two off that are actually the miners because then they will go and mine this and the other guy should go up and start construct uh, start constructing that he should do anyway there she goes Perfect. So we have a dumping ground here. We have a storage there and three outside bedrolls, which I will obviously be uh, changing to inside very quickly. <clears throat> what I'll do, I'll probably have like a little housing block outside, um, which should um, allow us to, uh, well, just just get them inside a little bit quicker. And there's a couple of boom rats around here, which are a bit interesting. Um, I'm guessing her construction is pretty low. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, uh, constructing one. Fantastic. Uh, not very good at all then. <laughs> I'll just put them back on that. What is she good at then? Um, the entrepreneur. Um, repairing one, growing one, plant cutting three. Oh, she can plant cut. Oh, well, she can cut plants and she can haul stuff and she's good at cleaning. And firefighting, not bad. Doctoring, all right. Warden, mainly warden, warden and research, to be honest with you. That's okay. Anyway, we'll speed up to max speed and get them uh, going there. As you can see, that's building very, very, very slowly. And they're probably going to mine that out just before we, uh, once we've actually done it. So that's good. Uh, and there we go, that's built. So what I will do is go to my structure and then wall. And with the metal that I have, I will uh, wall this thing in to... Um, <clears throat> to that for now, but I will be putting another double, and basically do a double skinned wall, I think, because otherwise it'll be a little bit dodgy. Um, we'll do it so, well, actually they're coming now, it's looking to start, build this, up. yeah, they're yeah, going to start, I'm going to start building it, that's okay, I guess. I'll wait until they've done this, and I'm going to let them go back and keep mining, which they're doing now. Oh, they're actually hauling that other stuff first before they do it. Fantastic. Anyway, once they've done that, I will think about placing some batteries. Um, what I'll probably do is, again, like I said, I'll let them mine this stuff out first. Um, what I'm going to do probably is come down from here along and then put like a double, like you say, a double wall in. Um, and the reason for that is because if, this, if the enemies start flinging grenades, if the raiders start flinging grenades, then hopefully that will stop them. <laughs> I, I do stress hopefully. There's a lot of hopes in here, isn't there? Uh, we also don't even have any food, which is a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is go and go to growing area and place a growing area. Um, just for now, we'll put one there and we'll put one there. Just for the short... Just in the, in the very, very short term, because I will build a building in here somewhere or even tunnel in the mountain and use solar lamps to deal with it. I'm going to go auto overview, and anyone that's on growing, I am going to turn them off the... I'll take these two off growing, and only have one person growing, because um, I want them to mine this and then start building this thing up here. Actually, there's the rain. That won't affect the geothermal generator, at least I don't think it will. Um, I've only played this alpha for about four or five hours, so there's probably things I haven't experienced that I'll be very shocked at. Um... Anyway, we have got pretty much everything we need there. Uh, they're probably going to be a bit upset that it's raining, but that's their problem. Let's go to my wall, and we will build a wall all the way down here. <clears throat> to probably about there. I think about there. Um, we'll also go straight up to the top there like that to block it off. Um, we will have an entrance to the base, and we'll put it probably around here. Um, but I don't know yet. For the time being, I'll probably have a small entrance here. But that could be a good place to fend. Actually, no, it wouldn't because if the fling grenades, it could blow. It could hit that and then that would be very, very, very bad. Uh, what I will do then is, just for the sake of getting it sort of done, I might put an entrance. I'll put an entrance there. There for now. Uh, I can always change it. Um, and actually, no, I'm going to put a wall there again. And then we're going to wall it up to there we'll wall up to there yes and that'll be the uh, that's the f see that's the first layer um actually i don't think i need a double layer because they're only going to come down this way so they shouldn't come against that and um, if they do i'd be very surprised anyway we'll put a door in 
there just for now. Just for now. And then what I can do is go to wall, build a wall that goes pretty much all the way to there. And we'll put a door um, there, I think. Yes, there. That will do us nicely. And then we can power conduit this thing up and actually connect it up. And one, what's, what this should do is hopefully it'll build a wall, uh, sorry, it'll build a roof all the way on it, which is good. I might as well click on that food and unforbid it so they can go and move it. Oh, they're very tired. Oh, starvation's kicking in as well. Oh, they're going to have to eat raw food, basically. Um, once I've got this up, I will put some uh, a nutrient paste dispenser in so we can get that all done. Uh, although it's going to take a little bit of time. This is what I'm on about the early game. I'm very, very crap at the early game. I tend to um, have a too, too, basically too broad a plan and go, yes, this is awesome, this is what I'm going to do. Um, and then we never ever get there. What I'm going to do is just cancel all of this stuff at the top because I want them to get this stuff done first. And once this is done, I can build a nutrient paste dispenser. Oh, it stopped raining, which is good. Although these are starving to death, which is not good. Uh, we'll put a battery. We'll start. We'll put one there, there, and there. And uh, see, the problem is, if, no, if I do that, that's a really bad way of doing it. Uh, we'll put the put them side on, actually, like that, so we can get better access to them. Cancel that one there, and then we will put a nutrient paste dispenser in the corner, like so. And then it will, as you see, just put a roof over it. That nutrient paste dispenser, once it is built, should, should, uh, well, basically allow them to eat. Because otherwise they're going to starve to death and that's all terrible. Uh, let me just put a bit of a connector there. Connect the battery up. Once it's done, you can see they'll all rush towards it and go, food, we need food. Come on. There we go. Hang on. There's food. <laughs> and um, I'm guessing they're going to be munching away at that. So that's that taken care of, only just. We'll place some more batteries. I do have a fair amount of... Um, that's probably too many batteries, actually. Let me cancel all them. I don't really need that many batteries. Just one more. You can see they're all going for the nutrient paste dispenser, and they're getting that nice. Okay, perfect. Um, right, let me go to... Um, back to the structure, I think. We'll go back to wall. We'll wall this in. As you can see, all the way up to there. Um, I don't know if raiders, if they come from this corner, whether they can come in there. I just don't know. I don't know if there's a, if it's within a certain proximity to the wall or anything. I don't know if that's a thing. But uh, I'm sure I'll find out, won't I? Um, right. Once this wall is across here, I will probably build... Um, I don't know. I want some sort of uh, defensible entrance. But it's not. I don't. I want it away from here. I also want, basically, this area to be like the power block. I'm go I'll move that nutrient paste dispenser to have it. Um, I'll have it. I'll have it being uh, well, <laughs> something less in the dark and less just in the corner of nowhere. Uh, I'm going to have a proper room for it um, at some point. Actually, what I might do. Uh, where are the rest? What are the rest doing? Uh, they are. Oh, they're sleeping in. They're sleeping in. They're trying to heal. That's the thing. That's what they're trying to do. Right. So let me uh, probably start building some. I'll start building a couple of houses, actually. This is going to be the entrance to the uh, underground bit here, um, which will be one, two, three, four, five. So that's a perfect size. I want to, I want to have a, a basically a th corridor of three and then walls on either side. So that will be perfect size for the entrance there. However, I need the rooms to be about five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. That is perfect. Um, that is basically what we're going to do. So there's two rooms there. I will, for obvious reasons, cancel off these ones here. In fact, what I might do is move that door over. It seems a bit little, bit more, bit more, sen oh, more sensible to me. But I'll do that, and we'll put a door on that side. I think. Um, I'm hoping that they fix that first, although I have a feeling she's going to, yeah, do that. Right, we have our first thing, which is traveler named Thompson is passing by as a deep space miner. Ooh, that's very good. Um, what I might do then, what I might do, <laughs> this is going to be a bit ropey, but I'm going to cancel off all of that, tell her to build a wall there, and a door there, and then quickly... I want someone to put a, uh, I want to put a bed in here, like so, and I will get that person, I will get that person, draft him, and get him to run over here. Um, I'm going to basically build the bed, and once that's built, I should be able to pick up Thompson, um, if they actually go ahead and do it at some point. 
Uh, have they built it yet? Why haven't they built it yet? They're not too bothered. Um, that's not good. I want them to build it. Build it, please. Please build it. Why have they not built it? Come on, come on. Done. So I'll quickly rush over. Mark that as the one that we can actually use to uh, get people and arrest him. Uh, we have an arrest. We have arrest him. There we go. And we will arrest Thompson. Finally, that took a while. Whew. Right. We've also got uh, another... Oh, God. Another pa another tra traveller's passing by. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Um, we'll have another bed. Quickly. No. Quickly. Cancel. Build the bed. Build the bed. Uh, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all. You. You. Um, arrest him. Yeah, I, I don't have any spare markers, basically. Can you do it? Can you do it if I get you and get him out of bed and move over here? Come on, come on, quickly. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do it. Please. Please. No, damn it. Just missed it. Right. And we've detected a cargo unit re-entering the area. Oh, look at all that metal. We will sort that out in a moment. Anyway. Right. <clears throat> So, let's let's work this out. Um, we have two beds in there for them only. Let me go back and... That's a shame. I wish I got that Commissar, because Commissars are really good at fighting. Damn it! Right, anyway. Let's move on. Let's uh, let's build this thing. One, two, three, four, five. And along. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Uh, and then it's basically that. Uh, these are the individual rooms for the colonists, which... Uh, Basically, it'll be good. You have individual rooms for colonists, and it helps things out a lot. Oh, I've done do I've done that a bit too much there. Let me put doors, 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 and doors. There we go, and we will unpause it. Uh, let me click on Larson, the miner. Obviously, we'll go to. Uh, th uh, why don't we have anyone that's on Warden? Uh, we do. Is he? Is he? Ah, oh, he was one of mine. That's of course, of course. Uh, where's right? So Thompson. Prisoner, we will friendly chat him and try to recruit. Okay, because I don't think I don't think changing from any fact of punch actually does anything. Oh, it does actually it does. Yes, I did it. I did it for a laugh the other day, and uh, someone came up and just went just, and just punched him in the face <laughs> for no reason at all. Uh, a local squirrel has gone mad. They always go mad. They always go mad. I think it's the just the typical. I think it's just something that happens right at the start of the. Um, of the game, uh, it's just something they did. Then you just go mad, right? Let me go to over here, and we will sell those three there. <clears throat> Done. And we will put. What the hell was that? Oh, it's the squirrel going mad. Uh, right, okay, we'll take these two guys, and we will go and uh, take care of that squirrel because he's trying to punch my door in. I don't think he's going to get very far because it's a bloody squirrel. Yeah, we've taken care of business on that one. No, take care of business on the squirrel, please. Are they going to kill him? Apparently not. Let me go to beds, and we will put the beds in uh, along here. I'll put the beds like so. Oh, cancel that one. Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, bed, we'll put it there, and there, and there. There's four beds, which is enough for what we have, or will be enough to what we have. All right, uh, that's the local squirrel gun mod anyway. So we're still trying to recruit Thompson. Um, I'm going to... Um, well, once them beds are built, I don't need to do anything else because that's that's basically in each individual room. So let me speed it up. Technically, it says it's speed up. It's sped up, but it's not. It's lying. There we go. Now it's sped up. And as you can see, they immediately say, yep, yeah, this is mine. They build it and go, mine. <laughs> and job done. Uh, let me move that squirrel out as well. Uh, this area is obviously far too dark, so I need to put a couple of lamps in. Uh, we'll put one there and there. And there and there. And then we can always put one in the corner if we need to, like so. We have enough power. Um, the only thing I need to worry about, apparently starvation, it's because we haven't got enough food, but we do have food. We've got loads of food over there. Um, I need to go to my overview and on growing. Uh, actually, we don't need anyone else on growing. We're pretty much done. Right, so once they've repaired this stuff, we need uh, basically to get some defenses up. We need to... Uh, Probably get an equipment rack up at some point, don't we? Yeah, equipment rack. We'll put an equipment rack in here just to basically fulfill the needs. So we'll get three. Actually, we don't need three. We'll just cancel them two. We'll just have two for now. Um, and what we need to do is think about our defences. So defences, I think I'm going to put around here. Um, I want somewhere that I can basically have a fairly large... Uh, basically, a way to funnel them in. They'll still get shot, and I can take care of them as they're coming towards me. Uh, so to that end, what I will probably do is 
have a um let's have a quick look we'll put we'll sell uh, various points around here so we'll sell um that we'll sell that oh actually no i can't do it that way i can't let me rewall that and think about this a little bit better um there's a lot of stuff to repair here <laughs> there we go they're repairing it lots of things to repair right so once i've done that uh let me think i want walls that go like down like so and basically have a sort of shooting gallery here um uh, so one, two, three, four, five. That will do me. And then behind them, I want a lot, a fair, a, a fair few lines of um, a fair few lines of guns to fire in a big section along here. So if I go and have um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five people shooting, I think that will do us for now. And we'll have this come out like so to about there. Now, this is something I've tried single player. Um, when I say single player, I mean not recording. So we'll have it out a little bit further, actually, to about there. And then what we do, we have um, basically all that full of sandbag. <laughs> um, and then what we have is a... Um, well, we have the entrance like... Uh, what was it again? I can't remember. I, find, I, to be honest, I think it was just that. I think it was just that. Have the entrance just like that. Um, so they have to then come they come in here and then they try to get us by get us by running down there So we'll see how that works and then we'll sell these bits here um, And we will uh, sandbag pretty much the whole area up. We'll sandbag these areas here Like so and we're gonna sandbag them behind like that so we can get more people behind shooting if we need to um, We'll also have guns there as well, and we've detected a crash pod, a crash pod nearby. Let's have a quick look where it is jump to location Oh someone as well perfect beautiful right let me get someone over here so you for example and uh, or you and you can come over to uh, collect this person so capture go so that's quite good i'm still trying to recruit this guy here so that's okay uh, as you can see we're building over here quite nicely let me go to my uh, security auto turret i want to place auto turrets back here although I think I am pretty yeah, I'm pretty much too low on metal to do anything. So I need to probably pick all them up. Ah, I need to name this thing. We are going to call it So this the other one was called 01899988199919725. That's what the uh, world was called. I think that we will call this um new old uh, old newsville E with three E's. New Olds Newsville. That's what this is called. Fantastic. Right. Once this guy has carried this, what looks like a corpse now. Is that a corpse? I think he's just carrying a corpse now. I think that's the great shame of it. No. You know he's not. He's actually still alive. Fantastic. So we've got another person still alive. Excellent. So hopefully we'll uh, get them too and we'll be good. Uh, what I need to do is uh, Raiders have landed nearby. Jump location down there. So quite far away. What I need to do is sell that door. And I need to put a wall in it there because obviously if I don't then they'll just come and kick that door down And it makes all of this pretty much pointless. So once this is done uh, Prisoner Thompson is escaping. Oh, yes, of course. I've taught of course. Okay. Okay. Damn it um, Please re arrest arrest him arrest him What do you mean? There's no available marker bed that there um, arrest Tom There there is the mm. one moment <laughs> right. Arrest. Arrest. Where, where's he running to? He's run... Mm. <sighs> and it said it successfully recruited him. Even though it didn't. <laughs> so, it successfully recruited him, and then he ran off. But he ran off by going through the thing I've just sold... All the way around, back into the base, and then off, even though he was recruited. I think Alpha Game is a little alpha. Uh, <laughs> uh, a new crash pod we've got there, and we've got some more food. Good. Food is good. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm just shocked over here. That was, that was weird. I've never seen that before. Oh, combat. Here we go. They're all coming towards me, so uh, I'll wait until they're inside, and then I'll worry about it. I don't know where that guy's going to come. Is he going to come towards the base? 
yes, he's going to come towards the base. So, you guys over here, you there, and there we go. And we will basically just get them all back here in our little defensive area here. And I don't think this is going to take long. I've only got one of them with a gun, however. So this could be interesting. Let's just melee attack him, actually. Melee attack. And melee attack. There we go. We'll charge off. He's going to try and run away, but we're going to capture him. Here we go. There. He had a gun, but um, no longer. He has no more body. Right. Let me just capture him. And we'll unmark that. We'll allow the gun to be picked up. Unreal. Uh, what? Well, Pick the gun up. But they're not going to pick the gun up. They're not going to pick the gun up. Um, have I successfully recruited them? I don't think so. Uh, no, I haven't successfully recruited uh, Choi yet. Hmm. No, anyway, I've never seen that. I've never seen them. I've, I've seen them run away before. And to be fair, that was my fault by selling that. But the fact that it said he's recruited, but then said when I tried to, when he was running off, he was running, he was escaping. But then when I tried to pick him back up, it said there wasn't any beds, even though that one there said. Un, uh, it said un, unowned because he was in fact recruited. So, just a bit glitchy, I think. Just, just a little bit glitchy, wasn't it? Anyway, I think we are doing okay-ish. Um, I need more metal. I am running low on food, which is something we need to sort out over here. Um, but for the most part, we are doing okay. Uh, what I need from yourself is whether you think we are going in the right direction, whether you think what I'm doing is right, do you think this is okay, do you think this is okay, any improvements, changes, etc. As always with this sort of series, and also we need a name for the colony. We also have a mental break soon, we need meals, uh, meal, uh, build a nutrient paste dispenser, I've got one. Yeah, this is very, very glitchy at the moment. Need defences? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Uh, starvation, apparently. Uh, there's a bit of starvation going about, but um, not really because there's food. She can go and pick the food up. There. Go, go, to the, go to the nutrient paste dispenser and have food. So why is she going down there to eat? I do not understand. I, I, I really don't understand because the nutrient paste dispenser is there. Look, he's just used it. Unless that is classed as the only nutrient paste dispenser we have, and because it is inside an area that is for prisoners, only they can use it. That'll be it, won't it? That'll be it. See? See, I figured it out. And now we've got lightning strikes all over the place and people are dying. I'll sort this out. Right, thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.